As part of my work with the Chief Fire Officers Association, I've been involved with other agencies who are looking forward and analysing the significance of a rapidly growing age of population. By 2032, the over 85 population in the UK would have increased by 106%. Given the age profile, the majority of fire deaths and demographic growth in the UK, fire deaths and injuries are set to increase. That is unless we become smarter at targeting our preventative resources. In May of 2014, um, we met with the Senior Information Governance Manager of NHS England. Armed with evidence and academic research of how sharing extra data since 2006 in my former service had saved many lives. As important was how it had transformed lives by working in partnership with health, social care and the third sector. This ensured needs were met and supported beyond the Fire and Rescue Services Home Safety Assessment. Shortly after that meeting, Sir Bruce Kehoe, the NHS Caldicott Guardian, stated that he supported the project. Even though this support existed, we still had to work through some very complex issues. In delivering the project, CFO and the Fire and Rescue Service are indebted to the Ordnance Survey for the complex geocoding of the data to Fire and Rescue Service boundaries. NHS England and the Information Commissioner's Office for guidance and support throughout the process and also Merseyside Fire and Rescue Service personnel for their work behind the scenes. And finally, the Health and Social Care Information Centre for the distribution of the data to 46 English Fire and Rescue Services. There are some very simple and practical ways extra data can be used to define vulnerability from fire. Extra data can also be used to identify those at risk from excess winter deaths. Also very high on the agenda, older and vulnerable people who live in areas prone to flooding. We need to utilise the expertise within the Fire and Rescue Service and colleagues in health to help source data and develop predictive tools to target prevention. You may have seen in the news items relating to closer working between the Fire and Rescue Service and health partners. We also have examples of Fire and Rescue Service involvement in new models of integrated care. There is now cross-sector and broader understanding of how Fire and Rescue Service personnel can have an impact on a broader public health agenda. This is being achieved by reducing risk through local collaboration and broadening the impact of Fire and Rescue Service personnel can have. In fact, this work is driving the direction and future of data sharing. We know more effective targeting of vulnerability to fire highlights a myriad of other risks. The work we're doing with NHS colleagues is looking at profiling medical conditions. There is in fact clinical evidence of the conditions which are most likely to lead to the tragedy of an excess winter death. Based on long-term conditions, these data profiles can be identified, anonymised and cleansed against extra data. This could then flag individuals who would score more highly at risk from fire or excess winter death. Distinct similarities and in fact being smarter at targeting for fire engages us with those at risk of excess winter deaths. We believe this can be done whilst maintaining patient confidentiality, as we have done with extra data. We also need to acknowledge the statistics between excess winter deaths and over 65 fire deaths. 2013 shows us 45,000 excess winter deaths. Fire deaths account for approximately 250 a year. Whilst we'll always do all we can to eradicate fire deaths, we need to understand the growing number of over 65s who die in fire are in fact the same cohort as excess winter deaths. The over 45,000 excess winter deaths are people over 75 and living alone. Sadly, the majority of which are women. The development of safe and well visits and being intelligence led gives us the opportunity of reducing risk 
from a range of factors. This in turn will drive collaboration and greatly improve the quality of life for those we engage with. Fire deaths amongst older people account for an average of 50%. Certain parts of the UK, it's over 90%. They are, of course, not the only cohort at high risk from fire. Excellent work undertaken by fire and rescue services in targeting groups such as victims of domestic abuse. Those suffering from mental health and drug and alcohol use and oxygen users. These elements are vital in developing a balanced targeting strategy. The one thing we have learned is that this work is a journey. Building confidence with our partners means we discover more innovative ways of targeting preventative resources. With your support, the Fire and Rescue Service can play an important and influential role in making communities safer.